So you got your beat in the insert, you got your microphone set up, and now you're just ready to record. You hit record and lo and behold, you already are screwing up. Why are you always like this? Look at my mouse. You mess up right around here, right here. This arm to record button is very, very important for you guys and girls to be able to organize your files nice and clean. Now take a look here. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit record and play. Yeah, this is my test. Yeah, vocal sound like this, whatever. Look at this nasty poo poo platter of a name right here. Untitled 2024, this, that, insert three. Oh my God. Let's put this into purgatory. Right click, delete, you're gone. Matter of fact, let's hit that monster reborn. You think that you could just rename this back to let's say vocals or something. But no, look, the file is still called untitled 2024 insert three blah 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 garbage. And you will see that if we go ahead and first, I'm gonna save the track. Here's a pro tip. If you wanna save a new project, go ahead and save it as a .flp first. So I'm gonna call this song name. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to file save as and then put it as a dot zip. Now, if we go to the desktop to go to song name, where you at right here, you can see the FLP song name, but look at the disgusting, nasty, booger infested name. Even though we've changed it here, no. Nah. So yeah, how do we deal with this? Simply put, left click to de-arm, right click to arm it. Now we're gonna call this song name, artist name, and you could just leave it just like that, or you could just put like something like vocals. So now if we hit record, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, boom. Song name, artist name, vocals. Now you can always go ahead and left click it, right click it, and change it to something like chorus when you wanna record the chorus. This is my chorus, artist name, chorus. Just like that. Now it says insert three here, but just keep in mind that's because we have the sound set to insert three. If I change the track to insert five, you see it says insert five. So even though we don't have a name for insert three, it doesn't show up, that's good. So the insert doesn't matter unless we are recording in an insert where we don't even have a name armed. You can see it says uh, 2024, 321, blah, 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 insert five. Now if I change this to uh, big, Peen. I don't know what that means. Big pen. Big peen. So yeah, that's the only time the insert thing actually matters. Let's say, God forbid, <laughs> your project crashes, you're gonna have a hard time unless you have the song names. Let me show you one more thing. You'll be able to see my music course series where I teach everybody how to create music from the ground up. So if you are a newbie, I teach every little thing. Look, watch learning rhymes and stuff like that, recording vocals, mixing, exporting, whatever. I'm teaching MIDI, look at me with the MIDI cable. But I do got a lot of free stuff on here, so go ahead and click this video next if you wanna see what is up, what is YouTube recommending to y'all. It's your boy, Justin Omoe, and with that being said, peace.